Back in the home office again, why this time? Exposure. And so raise your hand if any of you have been exposed at the hospital level or actually have you contracted COVID-19 and then are back to work now. So you've had to go through that two week quarantine process. That's where I am right now. So on this episode, I think it's important for us to revisit the Atlas policy on what happens when the hospital quarantines you, just like I've been quarantined right now with my family, not that I have the, I don't have the virus yet. No symptoms. I'm, I'm good. I don't, I feel, I feel good. So no symptoms yet, but quarantine just to be safe. On this episode, we're going to talk through that just so you have a better idea on what to do if you are quarantined. Atlas All Access Home Edition starts now. Okay, so back in the home office. Uh, so I was at an event over the weekend where it was an outdoor event. We were, we were actually very, very safe. Uh, and one of the people that was, one of, a person that was there ended up testing positive. And uh, I had very little contact with this person. But everyone here is healthy. So the, the smart thing for me to do and smart thing for my family to do is to quarantine at our house two weeks. Uh, so I've just started that here. Um, working through Zoom. Quite honestly, it's not any different than what I was doing before, but you know, it is, it is how it is. Everyone here is healthy. Now let's talk about how, if you have a, an exposure and the hospital says, go home, what happens? Always, always, like we said in the beginning, your first line of defense is call your recruiter. Call your recruiter, tell them what happened. That's, and then from there, they have protocol in order to move that through the process, uh, including where all of us look and see some of the details of how the exposure happened, where what facility it's at, how they've handled some in the past. We've had quite a number of these, not nearly as many as you would think, but we've had a number of these here happen since the beginning, since March. And I like to think that we've gotten pretty efficient at moving these, moving these through the system, making sure that you get paid, making sure you get your stipends, making sure however that works, it moves through the system correctly so you don't see any interruption whatsoever in what you expect from us. Now, is there an, is there an interruption in your, in your daily life? Absolutely. That's just something we have to deal with. It's just like me being in the home office here rather than in the Atlas office you know, with the skeleton crew or whatever. It's just how 2020 is. It's just how we are operating. And we've got to, we're going to make the best of it. And so that's what we had in mind when we set that policy and making sure that you don't have to worry about any of those details. You call your recruiter, you work through that. From there, the recruiter takes it with the client manager. The client manager works back with the recruiter and payroll and billing to make sure everything is done correctly on our end. Like I said, I think we've gotten a little efficient uh, a little more than efficient on these with how we've uh, with how they've ha we've handled them, and uh, there haven't been any snags yet. Now, right, knock on wood. Let's hope that continues to go that way. So, if you get quarantined, uh, in the hospital says there was an exposure, or maybe you don't feel good, whatever, go home. First call recruiter. They will run you through the protocol protocol on how to you know, how to take care of what you need to take care of, and then we take it from there. We will handle it from that point on, and uh, so there's nothing for you at, to, to worry about. You're going to get paid just like you would if you were working. So this year has not has been anything but typical, and uh, I, I believe we've we've done the best with the hand that we've been dealt. And um, so far, I hope if you've had that experience with us with some sort of quarantine, you would uh, you would say the exact same thing. So just to recap, you get you get uh, sent home. For any reason whatsoever, exposure, test, whatever, call your recruiter, explain it to them. We'll work through the process. So it should be just that easy. We've made it just that easy. And I know there's a lot of other companies that are following that lead and doing the exact same thing. Quite honestly, it's the right thing to do. It's been the right thing to do since March and uh, not changing that policy. We haven't even talked once about changing that policy. 2021 should, should be different. Do I believe we're going to have a vaccine? No, probably not. I, I don't believe that whatsoever. However, I do believe with the increased social distancing, with the measures that we've taken, with wearing masks, 
and people working from home, people like myself who can work from home, working from home, one, it's going to cut down on the transmission of the virus. And two, I think it might lead to a weaker than average flu season. We'll see if that's true. I don't know. But I have a feeling with the lack of, uh, with the lack of, of contact between people, that could, just, that could be a byproduct of, of, of all of that, just a weaker than average flu season. Now, we'll see. We're still ramping up with a lot of facilities uh, for flu clinics and that type of thing. Flu shots are still, uh, you know, they're still out there, still available. I was at CVS just... What, maybe, um, gosh, it was a month, maybe three weeks ago, and they already had flu shots available. So uh, it's, it's out there. It's available. I don't want to take anything for granted. However, um, I do believe with the precautions that we're taking for COVID-19, we're going to have a weaker than average flu season. So who knows? I could be completely wrong. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just going off of just precautions that we're taking right now, wearing masks, washing our hands, doing the things that we need to do in order to stop the spread of that virus should stop the spread of the flu virus, you would think. I don't know. Maybe. Could be completely wrong. So if you have any questions, again, your recruiter is your first line of defense. Call him or her and work through that process with them. If you have any other questions whatsoever, my email is always right here. Doesn't matter if I'm at home. Doesn't matter if I'm in Germany. Doesn't matter. Email is right here, rsmith at atlasmedstaff.com or Facebook, one of the two. I'm on Facebook all the time, all the time. You can contact me through that. LinkedIn, I've been on LinkedIn a lot lately. If you're not on LinkedIn, there's a lot of good professional content on LinkedIn. I love business articles and I love reading about business and I love reading about the world that we're in right now from a business standpoint and that's what LinkedIn has been all about. There is a ton of good hospital information on LinkedIn right now, just about how hospitals are, are navigating through all of this. So if you're not, or you haven't been on LinkedIn in a while, check it out. It's definitely worth, definitely worth looking at. And you can always message me through any of those platforms whatsoever. It, it can be complete, completely anonymous too. It's, it's totally up to you, right? If you don't want your recruiter to know or whatever, you should have that relationship with your recruiter uh, to have that conversation. But if, if for whatever reason you want to have that conversation with me, it's absolutely, it, it, you, you absolutely can do that. And I'm 100% open to having that conversation. So take care of yourself so you can take care of others. I will take care of myself and my family here in uh, week one of, of quarantine. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, you'll see me back in the Atlas office with the skeleton crew, uh, back to you know drinking good coffee and, uh, and, and working through the day there with them rather than here in the, in the home office. So we will see you next week.